Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabriela, and today I want to talk a little bit more about trajectory control inside Mary by Moon Valley. So I got asked about this in my last video that I'm going to leave up here. If you don't know about Moon Valley's model Mary, I really recommend checking out the video so you have a little bit more of context. So I'm going to teach you how to use it. First of all, we open the app of Moon Valley and we click on trajectory control. Now that we have our image, we just select it and click open. From here, we see that this has been added to our little square of activity and we click begin. So this is going to pop up a new window where we can see a trajectory control. I believe this one is an old one I did in another image, so I'm just going to erase it. And as you can see, now it's completely blank. That's probably how it, it will look if it's the first time you are using it. So you are going to click on add layer. And from here, we see this path, right? So wherever we click on the image is going to be the first point for our trajectory tool. And it's also worth mentioning that you can add several layers. So for example, if I just want her to move fo like forward into the scene, I'm just going to make one path for her. But if I want more things to be happening around her, I would make different layers. All right. So I want her to start from here. And for the next click I do, I need to move my, my, um, my keyframe. All right. So I'm just going to go over here and click another part. And then I'm going to go to a last one and click over here. So here we can also change. We have these four options. So I'm going to just click on ease in and we can preview our trajectory. Okay. We hit play. Well, hit play again. <laughs> and there we can see how it, it's going to be moving. All right. So I'm going to hit save and close. So then we can move on into the prompt part. So now I just click generate. It's ready. Let's see. Over here. Okay, as we can see, it's very accurate towards the way we want the model to be walking, as well as the glitchiness on the screens. We can also see those. Everything looks very accurate and it respects all the elements that I have on my, on my screen. Okay, so that is the tutorial for today. I'm going to show you at the end over here some other results that I did. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please consider giving it a like, a subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me here and I'll see you at the next one. Bye!